This remake of the Kuntas, does it live up to the name? Unveiled the limited production Lamborghini Countach LPI 800-4 as a celebration of 50 years since they released the original Countach. Now Countach has a very important role in the history of Lamborghini. Countach was the car that put Lamborghini on the map. It was the symbol of appeal and desire from the day it was released. Posters on the wall, cover of the magazines, everywhere Countach was there. The design of original Countach was light years ahead of its peers. Just think about the cars that were released around that time. None of them held a candle before the Countach. I remember at that time I was a kid and all available RC toy cars were modeled after Ferrari. As a kid, generally I didn't know what Lamborghini was because there was no toy based on Lamborghini. But first time I saw a poster of Countach on the wall of one of my relatives, it stole my heart. After that one time I found a picture of a Countach in a magazine and I cut it and put it on my desk hoping to own one of these one day. And I think it is same for the most people. In my opinion, Countach was the car that changed the course of Lamborghini brand. But this remake of the Countach, does it live up to the name? Words on the streets are that this uses the same chassis as Aventador which is of course a beautiful and capable car. Now we will talk about the car and my feelings about the new Countach but first let's have a look on the specs. It uses the hybrid engine from the same engine group as Scion FKP35 and Scion Roadster. It produces 780CV or 769.33 mechanical horsepower from the combustion engine and 34CV or 33.5 mechanical horsepower from the electric motor. Together the horsepower stands around 803, 800 if you want to round up, hence it is LPI 800 and dash 4 is for the fact that this car puts power in all four wheels. It boasts some eye-watering performance, 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds, 0 to 200 8.6 seconds, and it can reach max speed up to 355 km per hour. It uses 6-cylinder brake calipers in the front and 4-cylinder in the rear brakes, which allows it to come stand still from 100 km per hour in just 30 meters. It uses the same V12 engine that Lamborghini is famous for. You see, the Countach was the first car when Lamborghini used a V12 engine. So putting the V12 engine in new Countach makes a lot of sense. Now let's look at the design of the new Countach. Unfortunately, I am not very sold on the design because Countach holds a very personal and dear space in my heart. I saw Countach first when I was a little kid and that's why I'm not very sold on this new Countach. I understand this uses the same chassis as the Aventador so there is not many changes possible when they are building the car. I mean the original Countach has a demanding presence on the road but to me the new Countach looks like just another Lamborghini. I mean look at the Enzo Ferrari or La Ferrari. These cars look significantly different from all the lineup of the Ferrari. Now I understand this new Countach is not supposed to be a whole new car. It was was supposed to be something to celebrate the 50 years from the original Countach. But if you look at the car side by side with other Lamborghini cars, you see like the lines and everything is all so similar. Yes, of course, this new Countach is obviously very beautiful. Of course, from the front, you can see this car looks different from other Lamborghinis. And at the same time, it has some similarities with the original Countach. But in the from the back, if you see, I think they could have done a better job. Also same from the side. I think from the sides it has a striking similarity with Marcialago and Aventador. I really hope that it would be a little bit different. Lamborghini could have done something special with this car. I mean I know it is a limited edition car that makes itself special in its own term. But um, they could have done something more special like have a limited run color or a limited livery. So yeah, maybe maybe they could have done something like that, but I don't know yet. The details that has been made public is still very vague. Even the price is not available in the public, but all of planned unit has been sold out. So we will only know when the car actually have been delivered to people and we can see it on the road. Now, I have heard that one of these have been bought by an Australian. 
so I'm keeping my finger crossed and hoping to see the Countach in one of the car meet or on the streets of Sydney. Uh, maybe at that time I might have a change of opinion when I see it in person. But hey, what do I know? I have a small YouTube channel with 50 subscribers. I have returning viewers who think I am not worthy of their likes and subscriptions so they don't interact with my content. So what do I know? But the little kid in me who fell in love with the original Countach at first sight, let's just say he has different opinion about the new Countach. So what do you think? Maybe I missed something. Do you have a different opinion? If you have time, let me know in the comment. What do you think of the new Countach? Now this car is not supposed to be a brand new car, rather it is something that they make to celebrate the 50 years of Countach. So of course it should have similarities with Countach. But when I look at this car, I find it more similar to Murcielago or Aventador than the original Countach. Except from the front, from the front it still looks similar to Countach, but from the side, uh, I'm not sure. Even from the back, sometimes I feel like it looks more like Scion than an original Countach. But as it stands now, I'm not very impressed. Check out some of my other videos and if you like my work, consider liking and subscribing because the power is in your hands.